What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is the last video of today. I took the Cosmic video down because um, the Cache OS version of Cosmic was the problem. Now I have fully recompiled Cosmic DE and things are a little better but games are still kind of broken. It's more hit and miss now than it was just broken. Okay? There we go. That clears that up. I'll do a revised video tomorrow. Now, this is Gear Lever. This is what this video is about. And what this does is allow you to easily handle and deal with uh, app images. It's pretty cool. You can download it on the Flat Hub if you need to. And you can also go to Actions and download a flat pack there and install that with your software store like GNOME Software. Now, I've already had it installed. It's already done. And I'm going to just search it. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to turn this the stuff off real quick. Now, hopefully, this doesn't kill my desktop environment. It shouldn't. We're going to go grab an app image. And Lime 3DS. I want to go grab it from here. Because this is something that I know very, very well. And we're going to head down to the newest version of this. App image right here. And I'm going to open this up. We're going to extract. And there it is, the app image. So we're going to choose this one. And it says you can just drag and drop, right? And there it is. Uh, please verify the source. We're going to hit unlock and launch. That's it. It's done. You just drag and drop it in and it's finished. And I don't know. Is it integrated? Do we have... Now we have Lime 3DS there. But I don't know if that's like the app image version. But you can move to the app menu. And now... There's two versions. So there's a local and there's a flat pack. So the local version is this one, the flat pack version is the flat pack version, which is still definitely kind of cool. Uh, this is actually uh, kind of nifty, you know? I like it. It's pretty simple, nice and simplistic. It's got a new, nice user interface, which is great. I love user interfaces. So you can just, if you want to get rid of it, you can hit remove. I'm going to go grab another app image here and uh, we're going to give that a try. Okay, so we have the other app image. It's Cider. I drag and drop that in there. And I'm going to hit unlock. Move to app menu. And there it is. Right there. We're going to move that next to there. And we're going to open it. See what happens. Yeah, so there it is. It worked. Let me set this up real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so we're in. As you can see, I use Arch, by the way. And that's it. I mean, what more can I say about this thing? It's as simple as it gets, but we're going to go over the options and everything else. Because as you can see, installed applications are right here. You can check for updates. If it has any updates, grab them. It shows the build number right here, which is kind of nice. It has a setting. So let's go over the preferences. I'm going to keep this on the left-hand side for a reason. I don't know. It's just cleaner, but if we wanted to... I guess we can turn this on. I mean, that's a little bit better, right? Uh, it allows you to choose the default locations for the app in the app images to be stored during installation. You can clone app images into the destination folder instead of moving them, which is okay. And use executable name for integrated terminal apps. That's nice. And there's also debug logs that you can grab. I mean, all in all, that's pretty nifty. It's kind of like a warehouse, but for... Again, app images. Anyway, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, comment below. Everybody has an opinion about this app. I've seen it before. So comment its greatness, comment its issues. Let it be known. The more honest we are about the problems, the more we push the issues, the better Linux will be. We don't want to be Windows users where we just let everything fall apart. We need to be vocal when something is wrong, missing, or unacceptable. It's just the way that it works. All right? So speak up. It's not going to hurt you. Be honest. Do it every day and people hate me for it. But I'm going to keep doing it because you know what? It works. It does. Bye, everybody. Oh, um, I forgot what I was going to say. God damn it. Bye, everybody.